Hello everyone, I'm Travis Ross. Welcome to Tea Time Movie Reviews. This week's movie review is on The Hurt Locker, which came out over the weekend, starring Jeremy Renner. We actually got an interview with Jeremy Renner and his co-star Brian Garrity. We're going to show you that in a little bit, but first, here's my review. Welcome to Camp Victory. Oh, Camp Victory? I thought this was Camp Liberty. Oh no, they changed that about uh, a week ago. Victory sound better. All right. So I love the idea of this movie. These guys are bomb experts. They go to the bombs and try to disarm them. How crazy is that? I really like how Jeremy Renner's character in this movie was kind of a loose cannon, because that's what I would kind of expect from somebody doing what these guys have to do and what they have to go through. I really like the way they shot this film. It was kind of like guerrilla style. It looked like you were almost right there with them as they were disarming bombs and getting shot at. Okay, here's my disclaimer. I'm not Robert Ebert. We might not agree on what a good film is, but it's okay. I do my reviews on entertainment value. Did it keep you entertained? That's all I base them on. Hello, that's too bad. Our first time working together, what do you think? I think us working together means I talk to you and you talk to me. Are you going on a date, Sanborn? My team leader is inspiring. Wow. He's gonna get me killed. What's the best way? to go about disarming one of these things. The way you don't die, sir. For entertainment value, I gave this movie an eight. Go watch it. It's a great film, a lot of good scenes, a lot of good shots, high energy, and it's just, it's just mind-boggling that this really happens. There's guys out there that really do this. It's my wedding ring. Like I said, stuff that almost killed me. <laughs> Put down the phone! Burn him Appeal to women. I gave this movie a three. She might complain because there's not really a love story. There's a lot of action. There's a lot of blood and violence. So she might complain. We're going on a mission. And my job is to keep you safe so we can keep going on missions. It's combat, buddy. Babe Town. I gave this movie a one. What girls? There are pretty much no females in the whole entire movie that I can remember. So that means if there are females, and I can't remember him, that's probably not a good sign. Life or death. Found something. You roll the dice. As far as rating goes, leave the kids at home for this one. Deal with it. Oh boy. Here's that interview with Jeremy Renner and Brian Garrity I mentioned earlier. Check it out. EOD, which is Explosive Ordnance Disposal, bomb dismantlers, 38 days left in the rotation, story of three different guys, three different outlooks on the war, their job, life and death, and it's a thrilling sort of um, ride, that, it's an experience really, it's a movie that grabs you by the neck and takes you two hours through a roller coaster ride of great action and then wonderful character drama, and set in the, with the backdrop of Afghanistan, well, this particular movie about um, the, the Iraq conflict. I play a character that's it's done several three tours. You know, he's the kind of guy that's a um, man of few words and a lot of action. Kind of ruffles the feathers of the other guys in the, in the EOD team of three guys. And he's a he's an interesting, complicated guy that I you know I can't get into. You'll have your own interpretation of it, and um, that's all that matters. You know, it's a, he was a lot of fun to play. He's a very complicated guy, and I'm still figuring out really what he was all about still to this day so I mean the experience was you know very very difficult but it was eye-opening in a lot of ways it opened my eyes to Middle East and Muslim culture um, what our soldiers might be going through um, that was the best part of it I personally got out of it the most fun parts were probably being in the suit which is probably the most miserable parts because it's so heavy in the heat and the whole thing but also being inside it it was like a I don't know it was a, I mean, it was a cool outfit and even though it was heavy, but it was cool, I dug it. Uh, I think I'm gonna do this movie called The Town with Ben Affleck um, in Boston. Uh, I'm still in negotiation, so I can't really say for sure if that's gonna happen, but um, it looks like it's going to. So I'm pretty excited about that. Yeah, I play a specialist, Owen Eldridge, and basically the youngest of the three guys, and I'm kind of the most impressionable. I'm going through a rough time. Basically lost somebody very close to me. So, and I, I kind of play the, um, 
the, the everyday person, the person that I think the audience will relate to, you know, the most. Playing with the tanks and the weapons and just being out in some of the locations were just incredible. I mean, the people there, there's so many different, there's, there's some bad things about the weather, the sand, but I think the, the good far outweigh the bad. And just working with these two actors, Jeremy Renner and uh, Anthony Mackie, two of the best actors of our generation that everyone will soon know. So to be surrounded by that talent uh, for three months in the Middle East was just amazing. We filmed in um, one location. There's like a bridge, I, I, I think Lawrence of Arabia passed, you know, just outside the city about an hour. It was the most beautiful, beautiful uh, location. And we have a, in one of the best scenes, I think, that I've ever been involved in. And, and that and just it's great bombs going off, uh, just nuts. 120 was like some of the days. It was pretty hot, just like Modesto. It was pretty hot like Modesto in <laughs> July. Yeah. Um, this is my first time to Modesto, and it rules! Yeah. Good times here, so thank you. Be sure to check out some of the other movie reviews at centralvalleytv.com. Thank you for watching Tea Time on the Central Valley Report. We'll see you next time at the movies.